members of the Chicagoland female polka disc jockey team. Dolores, Lori, Leona, Emily, and Doreen. And their opponents today are Chet, Leon, Peter, Patrick, and Ed. And they represent the Chicagoland male polka disc jockey team. And they're all here to compete on America's only polka game show. It's Polka Feuds. And now meet the stars of Polka Feuds, Keith Strauss and Jeff Chester. Well, very pleasant afternoon and welcome to this month's edition of Polka Feuds. Jeff, it's a great to have you back with us this month. Thanks, it's great to be back. This is going to be a lot of fun today. I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, thank you for all your cards and thoughts. I really appreciate it. And... Uh, this should be a real riot. we got a couple of real great teams. <laughs> a lot of fun tonight, I think. Indeed we do. Right now, let's walk over and meet the members of the male team here. We have the dean of polka disc jockeys, Mr. Chet Schaefer. Chet, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, nice to be on the show. Mr. Leon Kazicki, who's no stranger to our camera here. Chet, a pleasure to be here. Chet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Peter from the IPA. Thank you. Nice you, to have you. The weatherman whose barometer is always on the rise, Eddie Mahovsky. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Just fine. Okay. And the polka party animal, Patrick Henry Sukerka. Thanks a lot. Good to be here. Great to have you. Now we go over to and meet the females here. We have the uh, queen of polka radio, as we <laughs> like to call her, Dolores Schaefer. Dolores, nice Thank to you. Thank you for inviting us, Keith. And the star of the Johnny Hisney show, Lorraine Hisney. Thank you for inviting Wait, me, Wait a minute, did Keith? Richard Dawson do this kind of stuff? <laughs> oh, he wow. did all that, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did. <laughs> See, we haven't had too many females on the show, so I get to pick up here. And Leona Vishnevsky from the IPA show. I, Thanks, uh, Keith. Nice to have you here. Emily Richards, who mm -hmm. uh, tried to steal some money from us a couple months ago. <laughs> How are you, Emily? Just fine. Nice to have you here. And the newest member of the disc jockey team in Chicagoland, Doreen Biawa. Doreen, nice to have you. Thanks for inviting me, Keith. Our pleasure. And now we're going to play the feud. Are you folks all ready? Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're going to have Chet on this side and Dolores come on up here. Line up this way. No, no, no. This way. This way. You're over here. Okay. All right. This is question number one now. So as soon as you think you know it, buzz in. Okay. We surveyed 100 people and the top four answers are on our board over there. And we want you to tell us, name a polka which has a state in its title. <laughs> the Pennsylvania polka. The Pennsylvania polka. Is the Pennsylvania polka up there? It's the number one answer. Do you want to, does your team want to play or pass? Play. play. Okay. They play. All right. Go back. We might be back to you, Chet. <laughs> Laureen. How's about Ohio? Ohio? Let's see. Is Ohio up there? <laughs> Strike number one. Leona, name a polka which has a state in its title. Three seconds. Strike. <laughs> Number two, Emily Richards. Give us a title of a oh. polka with a state in it. How about the boys from Illinois? Boys from Illinois. Is that up on the board? The number three answer. Okay, we've got two strikes, I think. And there's uh, two more answers up on the board. Give us a uh, title of a song that has a state in its title. Tennessee. When's the last time you heard the Tennessee polka? <laughs> That's strike number three. All right, guys, it's your chance to steal all the points. What's the general consensus? <laughs> Easy for you to say. Anybody? Come on. Three seconds we'll give you. Pennsylvania Hills. Pennsylvania Hills. Pennsylvania Hills is the number two answer. All right, Leon. Okay, so that means that the male disc jockey team has stolen the points from the females. Let's check and see what answer number four was, just for the heck of it. The California poker recorded not too long ago by the California Connection. You know, I apologize. We didn't meet our game show hostess and our announcer at the top of the show, so let's do that right now. We're very happy to have Father Bob Rowe, who can be heard on Polonia today on WCEV. And also, Kathy Brzezinczyk, who's here with us this evening also. Terrific. And Father, after round number one, what is our total score? After that exciting round number one, it's the men by 72 points. All right. So we'll be right back with more fun and excitement on Polka Feuds right after we hear from our sponsors. E.T.C. Ethnic.
Catholic Television Chicago presents our annual benefit for Catholic charities in the Anti-Hunger League. It's Santa's Holiday Review on Saturday, December the 7th at Bologna Banquets, 4604 South Archer Avenue. Starring direct from WGN-TV, the world's most famous clown, Bozo. The Incredible Illusions of Paul Lee and Company. Jet Kowalkowski's Polish Carolers, Stasz Galunka and his Chicago Masters. And Santa Claus. A doors will open at 5, dinner at 6, show beginning at 7.30. Music and dancing till 1 a.m. Tickets and reservations are now available by calling Polonia Banquets at 523-7980. Bellar Enterprise at area code 708-594-5182. The price is only $15 per adult and $12 for children under 12, which includes a roast pork dinner with all the trimmings, the show, music and dancing. Join Bozo and all his pals at Santa's Holiday Review on Saturday, December the 7th at Polonia Banquets to benefit Chicago's needy children. Children. Lot Polish Airlines. Now more than ever the recognized leader in travel to Poland. All right, we're back. And we've got a great crowd here today. What a crowd. We've got a couple great teams. The guys have a slight lead. I know the ladies are going to come back. So let's play round two. Let's bring up Leon. Let's bring up Laurie. Come on up for round two. How you, how you all doing? You all doing? Great. Okay. <laughs> Here's question number two. Now, we surveyed 100 people, and the top six answers are on the board. Name a polka which you think has been recorded too many times. Lori. Beer Barrel Polka. The Beer Barrel Polka, is it up there? <laughs> of course it is. It's the number one answer. <laughs> now, the question. You want to play or pass? Yeah. They're going to pass. They're going to pass. The guy's going to take this question. You got five, five more answers on the board. Beer Barrel number one. Pete, give me a name of a polka which you think has been recorded too many times. Helena. The Helena Polka, is that up there? Oh, of course it is. It's the number two answer. Why do you think that's been recorded too many times? Everybody knows it. I like this song. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's four more answers on the board. Name a polka that's been recorded too many times. Greengrass Polka. The Greengrass Polka, is it up there? Of course it is. It's the number, number six answer. You're you, you like to like do things backwards, right? You should go down and, okay. <laughs> Name a polka you think has been recorded too many times. I can cheat for this one, Pennsylvania polka. The Pennsylvania polka, is it up there? <laughs> no, it's not. That was the last round. Go over here to Chet. Now, you know, this is not really a fair question for Chet because he's got a recording company. <laughs> he records a lot of these songs. But do you have an opinion on on a song that you think might have been recorded too many times? Uh, Johnny's Knocking. Johnny's Knocking. Puka Yashu, is it up there? Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Leon, there's two more answers up there. Name a polka that you think has been recorded too many times. It's a real toughie. Clarinet polka. And that's from a clarinet player. <laughs> now, why would you say a woodwind player? Why would you say a clarinet polka? It's uh, very invigorating and fascinating. And <laughs> did, that, did, did that answer just pop into your mind? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Pete, you've got one strike. There's one more answer on the board. This could be difficult. If you don't get it, the girls are going to get a chance to steal. Name a song that you think has been recorded too many times. Cavalier. Is a Cavalier polka up there? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not, not how many songs Jimmy Mishawa has sung too many times. It's which has been recorded too many times. All right, you've got two strikes against you. There's one more answer up there. Tell me what it is. I'm sorry it's coming now, but Merry Christmas. That's 
not. Of course, that's not. A, what a thing to say in in front of. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, ladies, you got a chance to steal. Let's hear some answers. Okay. Zosha Polka. Zosha Polka. Zosha Polka. Is it up there? Of course it is. Of course it is. And the ladies steal the bank. After that exciting round, it's the Lady Disc Jockeys 104 and the Men Disc Jockeys 72. All right. Stay tuned. There's lots more surprises in store for you on Hope of Fuse after this time out. Taka O delivers in Poland on orders placed in the United States Japanese, West European, and Polish-made automobiles, including the Lada and Skoda. All cars are warranted in Poland and come with a full technical service guarantee. Information is gladly given and orders accepted by all authorized PECA O dealers and by the PECA O Trading Corporation. Located in Chicago at 333 North Michigan Avenue or call PECA O in Chicago at 782-3933. Okay, we're back and we're going to take a few minutes out to talk with the females who so handily stole that last round. You girls pulled one out, huh? Yeah. Dolores, tell our viewers, for many of those who may have uh, not uh, know that when you're on the radio. Well, I'm very fortunate because I get to do three shows, uh, not only with uh, the Dean Chet, but I get to do it with uh, Stash Bulanda at 10.30 on Sunday from 10.30 to 11.30. With, that's the Polka Hit Parade. Right. Then from 1 to 2, it's with Chet. And then on Monday... Uh, I get to do um, Polonia today at 3.30 uh, with Father Bob Roll, and it's all on WCEV. Okay, so in other words, you're with Balan, and then you have to go see the Father on Monday to get confession, right? <laughs> 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 Great to have you here again this season on uh, Polka Feuds. Lorraine. Yes, I'm not as lucky as Dolores. I only have two shows, and I have to do both of them with Johnny Hisney. <laughs> and we're you, need to see the, <laughs> you need to see the priest every Right, <laughs> right. Thursdays from 3 to 4.30, and uh, Sunday from 3 to 4, and both on WCEV. Okay, we move over to El Elona. Leona, I mean. <laughs> oh, come on, Elona, <laughs> Valerie, what else? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Leona can be heard on the IPA show. With Frickin' Frack. <laughs> <laughs> Every Sunday, 4.05 to 4.30. Also on WCE. On WC. We only got one person who's on that other station here with us uh, this afternoon. Yeah. The best station of all the polka stations. Whoa. How much of Galinsky pay you to say that? <laughs> I'm just contrary to what Patrick Henry always says about WCV being the best polka station on the air. They're equally good. They're both the best. And bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> I only have one measly half-hour show every Saturday afternoon from 2 to 2.30. It's the Sunshine Polka Show on station WPNA, 1490 AM. Be sure to tune in. Okay, and like we mentioned at the top of the show, one of our newcomers to the polka field, uh, Doreen Biawa, can be heard from 3 to 3.30 on Thursdays on WCEV. That's correct. I've been very fortunate. Johnny Hisney's been helping me out, letting me do part of his show, and I hope to have my very own shortly. How, uh, why all of a sudden you decided to get involved in this? Well, I've been Polka Queen three years. You get kind of lost without a microphone in front of you. <laughs> okay, very good. So tune all those programs in each and every Monday through Friday, and then, of course, on Saturday and Sunday. And right now it's time to bring up Leona and Peter here. And are we ready for round number three? Yeah. All right. Why don't you guys shake hands before you start this round? <laughs> okay, we surveyed 100 people. The top eight answers are on the board, and these are doubled now. The point value up on the board is doubled, as was our last round. Name a polka band that has both men and women in it. New Tones. New Tones. Are the New Tones up on the board? That's the number five answer. There's four, e four answers that'll beat it. First of Jays. Versa Jays. Are the Versa Jays up there? That's a number two answer. Okay. So now you have the option of whether you want to play or pass. You want to pass? Okay, we'll pass. We'll pass? Okay. All right, so they're going to, maybe some strategy there. We're going to pass. We'll come over to Eddie Mahofsky, and we'll talk to him. Quit kissing him on the set, Leon, will you? <laughs> 
Eddie, name a polka band that has both men and women in it. Three seconds. What? Well, I'm, I'm not saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> Strike number one. Why wouldn't you want to say? Oh, okay. <laughs> Patrick? Uh, Happy Louie and Julie. Happy Louie and Yulcha. Is that up on the board? Number eight answer for eight points. Now we come up to Chet Schaefer. Chet Schaefer, name a polka band that has both men and women in it. How about a Chicago band, Pace? Pace, let's see. Is Pace up on the board? Sure. Number seven. Mr. Leon. Dick Pillar. Dick Pillar. Is Dick Pillar up on the board? Number four. Okay, there's three answers up there yet. Guys are going along. You only have one strike. Peter? California Connection. California Connection. That's strike number two. Are you ready to talk now? Not yet? Come on, give us, got to give us one. Not anything. Three seconds. Eddie, anything. brother, aren't you? No. Eddie, no. <laughs> That's strike number three. What well, since when did Eddie have men and women in his band? Okay. Okay, uh, Dolores, what do you think? Uh, how about the Polka Family? Polka Family? Polka Family is the number one answer. So that means the women have won this round. Let's take a look at answer number three, and let's see what answer number three was. Number three was Jenny O and the Windy City Brass. Come on, Eddie. And <laughs> number six is the Polka Soul, Bill Cherniak and Polka Soul. So now we go over to Father Roll. Father, what is our point total after the end of round number three? Well, the women were slow, but they were deadly in their scoring. <laughs> it's the lady polka disc jockeys, 251. The male polka disc jockeys, 72. <laughs> Which DJ team will advance to the semifinals? Will it be the males or the females? Our next exciting round is straight ahead on Polka Feuds. Don't go away. Paka O delivers in Poland on orders placed in the United States a wide variety of food parcels. Particularly needed in Poland are the multiple item parcels containing, among other things, sausages, vegetable oil, sweets, coffee, and citrus fruits. Information and price lists are gladly given and orders accepted by all authorized Paca O dealers and by the Paca O Trading Corporation, located in Chicago at 333 North Michigan Avenue, or call Paca O in Chicago at 782-3933. When you're in need of delicious, tasty, piping hot food for your next business or social occasion, call upon Polonia Catering. Yes, Polonia, the Mahai family now offers value pack and deluxe buffets and party platters for all occasions. Whether it be that office Christmas party, confirmation, birthday, it's Polonia Catering. Value pack buffets, which include roast chicken and glazed ham, plus potato salad, coleslaw, relish trays, dinner rolls, plates, napkins, and utensils from only $3.25 per person. Choose from a wide variety of deluxe deli platters or deluxe buffets with your choice of Polish or Italian sausage, roast turkey, rigatoni, roast beef, and more. Take home some famous Polonia dumplings or desserts. Call Marge or the Mahai family at 312-523-7980. That's 312-523-7980. When you're in need of tasty, delicious, piping hot food delivered to your door at reasonable prices, call Polonia, Polonia Catering, a trusted name in quality food for over 30 years. Hi, folks. <laughs> We're back, and I get to interview the boys. <laughs> and first off, we've got the captain of the team, the leader, the dean of Chicago Polka Disc Jockeys, Mr. Chet Schaefer. How's your show doing, Chet? Uh, it's still on the air. <laughs> so, you were on the air when Keith and I were on the air, and that seems like it was back in the Stone Age. Uh, why don't you tell us? Uh, well, why don't you tell us again when your shows are on? <laughs> Uh, right now, uh, we're on uh, Sundays from 10.30 to uh, 11.30 with the Polka Hit Braid, and from 1 to 2 with the Chet Schaefer Show, and on Mondays with Father Roll and the Polonia Today Show, 3.30 to 4.30. Well, I'm glad to see you're slowing down a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, Chet. Leon Kaziki, <laughs> the Hall of Famer. <laughs> uh, why don't you tell us about your radio show and how it's been doing lately? 
It's doing very well. It's heard every Sunday on WCEV, the 1450 spot on the radio dial at 405, right after the news. Right after the news, 405. Well, that's great. Thanks for being with us today. Pete, I didn't know he was on the radio. Yeah, I of course I knew he was on the radio. You weren't on the radio when we were on the radio. But we, we kind of graduated a TV. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'd rather be on the radio. <laughs> I have a face that was made for radio. But not you should be on TV. <laughs> uh, why don't you tell us about your show and when it's on? We're on part of the rest of the team, 405 to 430 every Sunday. Well, great. Thanks for being with us today. Anything uh, you guys are up to lately on the show? No, same, same usual stuff. You're promoting all your dances and things like that. How's the newspaper business? Every month, keep on going. Well, I read it, so uh, thanks for being with us today. <laughs> Eddie. Yes. 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 Yes, yes sir. Uh, you're on with Emily, right? All the time. Yeah. How is she as a radio partner? Critic. Yeah. What's that? She's a critic. So She's a critic? She criticize you? I gotta, no, well, I guess so. <laughs> Something tells me she's a little easier to work with than Keith Strauss, though, on the radio. I love, thanks for being with us today, all right? And Pat, Patrick Henry, the Patrick Henry radio experience that we listen to every week. Why don't you tell us when it's on and uh, how everything's been going with you? Well, I'm on the number one polka station, the favorite polka station in <laughs> Chicago. WCEV, Father Row, please. <laughs> Forgiveness here. Emily has sinned. She lied. <laughs> but she couldn't help it. She didn't know. Anyway, on Sundays from 2 until 3 o'clock, every Tuesday from 3.30 to 4.30 on WCEV, 14.50 on the AM dial. Well, thanks for being with us. You were with us last season, and, and hopefully we'll see you again next season. We have to come up with some show to bring all these people back. So, It's the money. It's it's for the money. We do it for the money. You do? <laughs> Why am I doing it then? I haven't figured this out yet. Okay, we've got round four coming up. So let's get uh, Emily up here and Eddie up here, and let's go with round four. <laughs> do you want to criticize him now? Well, uh, doesn't do any good. He doesn't take criticism very well. <laughs> oh, is that true? Not really. Oh, no. We learn by it, okay. Well, <laughs> we're in the round four, and we surveyed 100 people, and the top six answers are on the board when you buzz in, when you think you know it. Name a polka band that uses or have used initials for the name of their bands. Oh. Emily. The Easy Tones. The Easy Tones. Is the Easy Tones on the board? Of course it is, E and Z. That's number five. Now there's four answers up there that are better. See if you can give me one of them. Three seconds. <laughs> no. Nope. Ladies, do you want to play or pass? What do we do, girls? We're going to try and play. They're going to try and play? Okay, they're going to try and play, guys. Think of an answer so you can steal. Sorry, Ed. <laughs> Let's go down here to the end. Do you have an answer? There's five more up there. Stash Blonda, APB. APB is up there? Of course it is! It's amazing. It's outstanding. The APB, the number one answer. Let's go back up here. Do you have an answer for me? Uh, how about Pace? P-A-C-E? It's Pace up there. P-A-C-E? No, it's not. It didn't make our survey. I'm sorry. It's a good answer, though. Lori, there's four more answers up there. Think you could give me one? I don't know. When just slipped my mind. Band that uses initials. Three seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's strike number two. There's four more answers up there. Guys, think of an answer to steal. Name a band that uses initials for its name. CMA. CMA. Is CMA, CMA up there? Of course they are. <laughs> Chicago's Milwaukee Avenue. And you know, out in Barrington and Schaumburg, people are jumping for joy that you said that. All right, there's three more answers on the board. Emily, think you could give me one? Sure. How about Jetty O and the Windy City Brass? The Windy City Brass, WPB. Are they up there? <laughs> WCB, WPB. That's three strikes. Guys, you have a chance to steal this board. There's three more answers up there. And a band that uses initials. TBC. TBC is the Brass Connection up on the board. Yes, they are. From Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio, the Brass Connection. 
and the guys have stolen the pot. So, what's our score after round four? After round four, it's uh, <laughs> the uh, male disc jockeys 270 and the female disc jockeys 251. Okay, before we, before we break, let's see what answer number four was up on the board. The TPM, Toledo's Polka Motion, and number six, the Versatone, ZBV. So, what are our point totals after round four? 270 for the male disc jockeys and the female disc jockeys, 251. And we come, when we come back, we'll find out who will be victorious tonight and start their climb up the ladder to be crowned Polka Television Champs of 1992 when we continue the feud here on ETC. Close game, come on back. You are about to witness an incredibly effective fitness machine. Airdyne from Schwinn, the only machine of its kind that lets you exercise your lower body and upper body together for maximum cardiovascular benefits and healthy muscle tone. Use the Airdyne for as little as 20 minutes every other day to help achieve and maintain total fitness. Schwinn Airdyne, the ultimate fitness machine. Available at Cozy Cyclorean Fitness Center, 281-2263. Real quick, because we're winding down on time, we'd like to ask Father Roll to tell us when he can be heard on his brand new show. Father? With Chet and Dolores Schaefer on Monday night, uh, Monday afternoons at 3.30, and that's only because I didn't get my job selling office supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father and Kathy, for being with us. Okay, we're ready for our final round. We've got a close game going, Patrick and Doreen. We've got question number five. The points are tripled on the board. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are up there. Name a Chicagoland polka lounge that still features polka music today. Patrick. Club 505. Club 505. Is Club 505 up there? Yeah. That's the number three answer. There's two answers that can beat it, Doreen. Ron's Bungalow? Ron's Bungalow is the number two answer. Now you have the option of whether you want to play or pass. Play or pass? <laughs> pass? pass? Okay. Chet Schaefer, we come over to you. Name a polka lounge that still features polka music in Chicagoland today. Um, this one on the north side on... Uh, uh, Lawrence Avenue <laughs> on, on uh, Montrose. Uh, uh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Algiers. Algiers Lounge. Is Algiers Lounge up there? Okay, yeah. Leon, three more answers up there. Come see, come saw. Come see, come saw is the number one answer. Two answers up there. Peter? Cascade. Cascade's not a lounge, so that's up there. Eddie? What? Algiers. Algiers already said. Give me another one. Three seconds. Casablanca. Casablanca. <laughs> Not up there. Patrick, two answers left. Warsaw Inn. Warsaw Inn. That's three strikes. Over to the ladies. This is your chance to steal the whole show. That means you come back for the semifinals. Two answers <laughs> left. <laughs> How about Vise Yellowbird? Vise Yellowbird. That's the number five answer up on the board. And let's see what number six was real quick. Number six was the baby doll. So, Father Roll, at our final round, what is our point total? It's the ladies winning with 414 points, and the poor male DJs only 270 points. Okay, so that means that the lady dish jockeys come back for the semifinal. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Thanks for all for being here on Polka Few. Good night, everybody. Seating program was a production of ETC, Ethnic Television Chicago.
You're tuned to WCW-TV Channel 25, What Chicago Watches.